Ooh, and what do we have here, guys and gals? This is something that has been so hard for me to keep quiet about. And it's a new product. I've been testing it for several months. Going on, what, four months now. And it's just been so hard not to talk about. I've leaked a little bit here and there. Uh, any of y'all worried about gas prices and changing batteries in your trail cameras? Having to make a run to your cell cameras out there in the woods? Y'all yeah, give her 360 a call because we got it going on. I love to be a problem solver. And since I released my solar power pack last year, even before that, because I was hand building stuff, we've been the industry leaders, but last year uh, I just I, I came out with the largest uh, commercially made solar power pack for trail cameras on the market. And this one here is the Generation 2. Now, Gen 1 is not going away, guys. Uh, we made a few little finer, minor tweaks to it, um, feedback to the factory over this past year on on different things that we were seeing and uh there's a, a few little upgrades to it but it's still going to be basically the same thing it'll look just just like it did uh except for something i'll show you in the, in just a minute um uh, that'll be on the back um and hopefully hopefully they included it but uh darren sims at, at studio d did a phenomenal job on my Packaging design, as always. And, uh, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Some tape. Alright. Now, this, this whole solar pack right here is, uh, is, a product of all the information that I was given the factory over the past year, uh, things I wanted to change and things I wanted to see improve. One of them was a uh, non-reflective solar panel, as you can see. Uh, now, I'm not a solar panel expert by any means, but they tell me this is a carbon fiber solar panel. Um, and it does appear to be and supposed to be even more efficient. This is a 10 watt panel, and uh, it's supposed to be even more efficient than the monocrystalline. One of the things that I wanted them to do because it was getting, it was just so hard to see the little embossed numbers there was put uh, the output voltages on the back. And they did that for me. The arrow means you, you're supposed to point it down. That's that's the direction that you want it facing all your uh, ports facing down just to help avoid any water infiltration that may happen even though it's a pretty tight box. It's a pretty tight case. Uh, another thing that I was asking for and working with them on was this part right here. Now that's not your charging port. There's You have a 5 volt input charging. You use a cell phone. Uh, charger to charge it but this right here so you can charge your charge your cell phone or uh, your tablet or even run it it's a big battery in here it'll charge your phone up many many times uh, and especially if you put it out in the sun and so uh, we also have got cables included with that and uh, see if we can find them here all right, there's your Apple lightning cable. So you can charge your iPhones. And then, uh, let's see, it's, there's for your Android devices. You can charge those. And then, uh, let's see, some cable outputs. All right, there's, there's one. And I want to make sure I'm naming these right. Yep. Okay, so you got two different cables here. And they look similar. 
if you can see the out the black tip is a little bit different so this is a bigger one this is going to be your 5.5 by 2.1 it'll run your moultries your brownings um stealth cam uh spartan go live spartan ghost even though it doesn't have the screw on connector you can trim a little bit of that rubber off expose the barrel some it'll push right on up in there and run those cameras now i'm i'm working on a chew proof cable that'll work with this panel that will specifically fit the spartan ghost and go live cameras uh, the gl2 the go live 2 you need to have a little bit more barrel exposed so you just trim back all the way around a little bit of that that rubber there and it'll push on up in there and then uh, this one here is for your Reconex and Ridge Techs. it's 4.8 uh, I don't know of any other cameras other than Reconex and Ridge Tech that use that size um, here's your charger you plug it into the cell phone you can charge it uh, I like to charge mine out in the sun and then at night if I'm in a hurry bring it in at night and let it charge by a cell phone and take it back out the next day put it in the sun if it's completely dead it may not need that much it just depends on the lights and um, what they're telling you so that's your uh, 4.0 by 1.7 that'll fit your Spartan Go camera your tactic cam reveals any of the reveals uh now the, the spartan go cameras is a six volt camera don't plug it in a nine or twelve volt plug it in, plug it in a six volt uh but the uh creative xp barn owl wise eye bigfoot um sniper uh can't think of any uh, uh covert those all use this same plug size uh covert's another six volt camera the others I mentioned, the re Reveals, the Bigfoots, uh, Barn Owl, Wise Eye, those all take uh, either a 9-volt or the 12-volt output will power those just fine. Uh, manual I wrote, so it's probably going to be some Southern English in there. And a few typos, probably, even though we did try to proof it, and I had several people proof it. Uh, I did write most of that material, if not all of it. And uh, so Anyway, back over here to this beauty. Now, it's going to come at a premium. It's not, it wasn't cheap to get this thing made, right? And and uh, lithium battery prices are going through the roof like everything else. So it's not going to be cheap. But you can still, for about the price of a, a pickup truck tank full of gas, buy one of these and put it out there on your trail camera and not have to worry about batteries no more. Pretty little herd 360 right there. All right. There's just some information there. Got the voltages on the back. These should also be on my solar power pack, the Gen 1, the SPP 1020. That will be coming in. Uh, I'll have another batch of those coming in real soon. Um, they're on sale right now, the ones that I have remaining. All right, you push your button here, and that shows you your lights. See, this one needs a good charge. Let's see if we can make the green light come on. Can't make it come on. Come on. Need a little bit brighter light than that. You take it out in the sunlight, though, you'll see that green, the first green light blinking. and Or not blinking, but light up. Light up. That means that solar is charging. Uh, all right, man. I, guys, I'm stoked. Only one case showed up today. I paid double the money shipping just to get 20 of them flown in express, and the rest of them are coming on a ship. So uh, there'll be some information in the next few days. I'll, I'll try to make a, a listing online. Y'all feel free to ask questions uh, in the comments, either on YouTube or Facebook, wherever I put this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Mike at Herd360. Still the industry leader in solar power for trail cameras until somebody copies me. And I got a feeling that's going to happen real quick. But uh, you know how China is. Anyway, y'all have a good one. Mike, Herd360, and I'm going to go inside, take me a shower, go to bed. Bye.